The ocean stretched out endlessly, a vast and unforgiving expanse. Yet to the Polynesians it was not an empty void. No, it was a map, a world of stars above and the pulse of the waves below, guiding them through the unknown. It was around 1000 CE, and a secret, ancient art was unfolding in the dark, starry sky. Polynesian navigators, their faces weathered by salt and wind, were about to achieve the impossible. They would cross the vast Pacific Ocean, using nothing but the stars as their guide. No compass, no maps, just the sky and the sea. They could read the stars as you read a book, each one a letter in a message. As night fell, the stars came alive, marking out invisible pathways. The navigators knew how to use the rising and setting of stars, their position in the sky, to guide their way. They would chart their course based on the patterns of constellations, each star a landmark in the sky. Every movement, every star's shift was a clue to their destination. But how? How did they know which stars to follow? The answer lay in generations of careful observation. They'd seen these skies from the moment they could remember, watching the stars slow dance across the heavens. They memorized every shift, every angle, until it became second nature. Their lives depended on these stars. And yet this wasn't just a technical skill. It was a philosophy, a deep understanding of the universe's rhythms. The stars told them when to move and when to rest. They didn't just trust their eyes, they felt the ocean's pulse, heard its rhythm beneath the hulls of their canoes, and felt the winds shifting. The ocean wasn't something to fear. It was something to be understood, to be embraced. For generations, this knowledge was passed down silently from one master navigator to the next. And then came the moment, a moment when the vast horizon was no longer a wall to scale but a road to travel. The Polynesians set out, crossing thousands of miles, guided only by the stars, with nothing but the open ocean beneath them. When they reached distant lands, they didn't just find new shores. They found a new understanding of their place in the universe. They learned that the sky above them wasn't just a map. It was a connection, linking every part of the earth, every culture, every story. In the end, the stars didn't just guide their journey. They became the story itself. If you ever find yourself on the open sea, look up. You might just see the same stars that guided them. If this story resonated, please like, share and subscribe to help this channel grow. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.